my name is Kevin Benner, and I'm a Senior Professional Services Engineer with NetBrain. Have you ever picked up a ticket or received an email that refers to an IP address, and you don't know where that address resides in your network or anything about its status? In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can use NetBrain's powerful One IP table to quickly gather loads of useful information about any IP in your network. I've not only used the NetBrain One IP table to collect information for myself, but also to empower data center, security, and service desk teams to answer their own questions about subnets, endpoint locations, and network status. After your team and customers learn the same things, you may even be able to eliminate some of those tickets and emails that I mentioned before they ever get to you. Let's take a look. To open the One IP table, just go to the tic-tac-toe dots in the upper left corner of the desktop, choose One IP table, and then drag the table to fill the screen. Each row in this table contains information about a single IP address. NetBrain learns all of this information when it runs benchmark processes, which examine interfaces, ARP tables, and other data. Let's start by the switch port column to bring some ARP entries to the top, and take a look at the first entry. The address is 10.10.5.32, and if we look here at the switch port column, we can see the name of the switch and the L2 interface where the IP and MAC address were most recently seen. Imagine, for example, that a data center operator needs to know physically where a server connects to the network. Or imagine that a level 2 service desk technician needs to know where a workstation connects to an access switch in an office. Without NetBrain, most network engineers would gather this information by logging into switches and routers, finding the IP and MAC in an ARP table, and then tracking the MAC address down through L2 switches to an access port. But the One IP table has already done all of this work for us, and it tells us where all IP addresses were last seen on the network. Plus, NetBrain adds information about the port's VLAN assignment, gateway, and the port's description from the configuration file, where there is one, in the next few columns. If we scroll to the right, NetBrain also tells us the date and time that this information was retrieved, which makes it possible to track the last location of network devices, even when they are no longer on the network. In other words, the One IP table can tell us where that IP was located in the past when it was previously on the network. And even though 10.10.5.32 has not been on the network in a couple weeks at the time of this recording, I can still see where it last was. Finally, looking back at the first few columns, One IP table shows us the corresponding IP address's MAC address and its corresponding vendor ID, where known, as well as the mask of the subnet. At the top of the table, we have some other options to help us. Resolve all DNS is exactly what it sounds like. Click on it and NetBrain will recheck for DNS names and update the DNS name column in the table if it resolves. Show unknown end system only filters the list to only IPs that are not part of a network device in the NetBrain inventory and are only known through ARP tables. The search field lets us filter on a string for an IP address or a MAC address or a device like SW3560-123 to see all of the IPs connected on this switch. We could also search for a partial IP address or a MAC address to filter in on whichever part of the network we're interested in. Finally, NetBrain's familiar export and refresh buttons allow us to download or refresh the table. The loan option under settings is to choose a different DNS server if desired. So why would anyone want to use the One IP table? We already mentioned a couple reasons, like when an admin needs to know where a device is physically connected to the network. But the One IP table can also help with IP address management to see when a static IP address was last used to determine if it should be reassigned or to see how many IP addresses within a subnet are in use. Security teams can find the One IP table helpful since IDS and IPS alerts often start with just an offending client's IP address with no additional information and the One IP table helps them find the IP address's location, uplink, and subnet neighbors. Now that you're familiar with the One IP table, you should be comfortable double-checking its information against traditional MAC and ARP tables in NetBrain or directly in devices CLIs. To double-check the 10.10.5.32 uplink, for example, we should be able to look at the MAC table in SW3560-123 search for the MAC address reported in the One IP table and see that it is in fact on GI020 exactly as reported in the One IP table. Similarly, we should be able to go to the L3 gateway, SW-4500-15, 
look at its layer 3 ARP table and see that it is in fact linked to the same MAC address as reported in the 1IP table. If you found this helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the NetBrain YouTube channel so that you'll be notified when we release more videos like these to help you get the most out of your NetBrain platform. Don't forget to visit us at www.netbrain.com to learn about our latest no-code automation innovations, and we'll see you next time.